Hey guys, this is Janine from Pangolin. Welcome back to my Lightroom course for wildlife photographers. This is the beginner course, but if you haven't yet, please sign up on our homepage because soon we're going to start a second course with more advanced Lightroom techniques. Today, I want to speak to you about watermarking your images. It is not the most intuitive feature of Lightroom and it can become a little bit frustrating. So let me help you with those presets and let's get started. All right, if I would like to export this image and I want that image to not just have my metadata embedded in it, but actually have my name on it, I can very easily do that during my export process, I would press File, go to the drop down menu under Export, and open my drop down menu Watermarking. You simply tick that little box, and then you can open all your presets. Those are my presets because I do not want to change my watermark every single time. I have a black watermark and a white watermark, and I have all potential locations around the frame within the image, plus a center location if I want my watermark to take up most of the space. So how do you set up watermarks? What you simply do is you say, edit your watermark. Up here on the left hand side, you have the option to choose any of your existing presets, you can change that preset and resave it. You can restore it to its old condition, or you can simply delete it or rename it. How do I set up my watermark? So you can choose from two options. You can simply write your name or the text that you want with a font that Lightroom provides you with. Your second option is to import a graphic. You have an image option and I have my private font called Hopeless Giraffe. I thought that was quite appropriate. If you want to use a text option, here you have the font, the style, you can align it and choose a color in order to create a text file. The most interesting drop down menu is your watermarked effects. You can choose how opaque your watermark will be, the size of your watermark, and where it will be sitting on a vertical as well as a horizontal line. Your initial anchor points are nine options, which sort of makes placing your watermark a little bit cumbersome. You don't want your watermark to be so big that it distracts your picture, but at the same time you want to make sure everybody knows this is your image and it becomes difficult to cut it out. Once you're happy with the looks of it, you can press save and automatically you can choose a preset name. This preset name I would call black top middle. If you simply wanted to change an existing preset that you have already had previously, you can say save current settings as new preset rather than giving it a whole new name. Once you've set up enough presets that you can place your watermark at the top, the bottom, left and right, wherever you want it, it becomes very easy. I would like it at the black top middle because it was very visible there. I'm going to export it and your name will then appear on the image. Easy as that. So now it depends where you make use of the image. If you're worried if it's going to be stolen, make your name bigger, maybe a bit of a pass going straight across. But if you just use it for private purposes, I don't personally think that is necessary. This is the end to our Lightroom course for wildlife photographers, the beginner section. Now you have all the tools to get started and ready. And when you tested it on your own images, please come back. We soon have a follow-up course with more advanced Lightroom techniques. Bye-bye.